I'm going to review the two freediving masks that I most often use. Now, there's many others on the market, but these are the two that I found work best for me at the moment. The Aqualung Micro Mask, I found this to be a great mask. It's got a low profile, extremely low volume, and that makes it easy to clear. It takes much less air to equalize than would a larger scuba diving mask. It still has a great field of view. The liquid silicone seal makes it a comfortable fit for most faces, and it's very easy to pinch the nose through it. The lenses are tempered glass, and the buckles are really good and easy to adjust. They only come undone when you press the quick release. Now, I find with a lot of masks on the market today that they don't always lock in place as well, and when I'm taking them on or off, the mask strap can quite easily slide through them. This really annoys me. In fact, this issue alone is normally a deal breaker for me, and as a rule, I won't buy a mask that does this, even if all the other features are good. The Micro Mask comes in two skirt colors, black and transparent, but I like the black because it cuts out unnecessary peripheral glare from the sun on the surface. The clear skirt in Micro Mask also comes in a variety of frame colors. If you scuba dive, particularly if like myself, you like doing a bit of technical diving where redundancy is important, then this is a great backup mask. In fact, it can actually work just as well as a primary mask, although generally I use a slightly bigger mask for that purpose. Cost is a bit more than some other freediving masks, but as I can find very little wrong with it, I believe it is a really good investment nonetheless. Now, although the Micro Mask ticks pretty much all the boxes for freediving, when doing really deep dives, many freedivers prefer an even lower volume mask that requires less air to equalize. The most commonly used is the Aqualung Sphera, which is pretty much as low volume as you can get with its curved plastic wraparound lenses. However, it doesn't fit everyone and it just so happens that it doesn't fit me. Plus I'm not as keen on the plastic lenses as they are prone to scratches and don't magnify objects underwater in the same way that flat tempered glass does. So I was looking for a mask that was as low volume as the Sphera but that really fit me properly and I came across the Cressy Minima mask. It just happened to be the last one in the shop at the time so I quickly scooped it up. It's extremely low profile low volume and almost as low volume as the Sphera. It can be very easy to clear, it takes minimal air to equalize. The field of view is one area that does let it down a bit due to the lenses that resemble swimming goggles a bit but with the sides that you can't see through. This is probably a plus on the surface as it restricts peripheral glare from the sun. And as I'm quite sensitive to light this isn't a feature I mind whilst doing breathe ups. However, it's equally restrictive underwater. And for this reason, although it can be used as a backup mask for scuba diving, being easy to fold up and put in a BCD or wetsuit pocket, and it does this well, I personally prefer to use the Micro Mask as a backup technical diving mask. However, for free diving I don't mind this, and don't see it as a drawback in any way. It comes with a black liquid silicone seal that makes it comfortable fit for most faces, and again, it's easy to pinch the nose to equalise. As already mentioned, tempered glass lenses as opposed to the spheres which are plastic so they are much more durable, extremely lightweight at just 118 grams. Again it gets my tick of approval with its buckles which are good and easy to adjust. Just lift them up, tighten or loosen the strap which is a split strap for comfort. Cost is generally very good and at the moment this is my preferred all round free diving mask. There are many other masks that lend themselves to freediving, in particular the Oma Alien, Zero or Bandit and the Cressy Super Ocho. As a general rule of its low profile and volume, it's probably going to be good for freediving. There is a way of having no mask volume to clear at all and that's to use special fluid filled goggles which you put saline solution in. And that's what most people who do competition today use. They have special lenses in them that you can focus through the water. Having said that, you can still see more clearly with a mask on, so for recreational freediving, I recommend using one instead. Well, that's my review of the Aqualung Micro Mask and the Cressy Minima. I've certainly found them both excellent masks to use. If you have anything you'd like to add from your own experiences, feel free to just add to the comments below.